Hey y'all, welcome to Lion's Den Tarot. I am Camille and I would like to welcome you to the Lion's Den. I will be doing the daily tarot for all signs for April the 6th, 2021. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? And this is based off your, en uh -uh. your energy, my energy, and the cards. All right, I'm shuffling. Whole pile of cards fell down. <laughs> Thank you, angels, ancestors, spirit, guys, and God. What do we all need to know for April 6, 2021? Hope you guys had an amazing Easter weekend and I hope you had a great day today. All right, angels, what do we need to know? April 6, 2021. All right, you all, the angels want us to know. Mm. Reconsider. So whatever you're thinking, reconsider it. All right, and now let's get into some tarot. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and God. What do we all need to know for April 6, 2021? All right, y'all. What do we need to know for tomorrow? For April 6, 2021. All right, y'all. The angels want us to know our current situation. I'm about to cut the cards now. Is Four of Swords. Now, what's driving us all? The magician. All right, now. All right, all right, all right. What's benefiting us? The tower. Oh, it's time to start something fresh and new. Yeah, baby. That might that reconsider me reconsider staying. Or we're just going to read the card. See what they say. What's crowning us all? Four of pentacles. All right. And the outcome energy for us all. The three of pentacles. All right. The universe telling us go for it, go for it, go for it, go. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that reconsider might be reconsider staying. You, you're thinking about staying. It might be time to vacate. But we're going to read it. Let's go. There is an element of your plan that should be reevaluated. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. Share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback. Ask your angels for guidance. This is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering. Okay, uh, so it's not the time to make it. A better time will come or you'll realize that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. All right, because we're coming into the four swords. So let's go ahead and... Get into it. That's air energy. That's Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, and Libra. All right. Whatever challenge you've been dealing with, rest assured it's O-B-E-R. Life is called a timeout so you can catch your breath and you'd best make the most of it. Get some sleep, eat a vitamin, take a rejuvenating bath. Whatever you need to do to get back to your bright-eyed, bushy-tailed self, because before you know it, life's going to blow that whistle and start trying to reverse roundhound that tail again. And this time, you'll be ready to end things quickly. Here's the affirmation <clears throat> for a minute anyway. I rest my mind and nourish my body, knowing there will be plenty of time to feel like trash again later. Okay, now moving on to the magician, because you can do anything because you are magic. Okay, that's the second card in the tarot deck, Major Arcana. Like a letter from Hogwarts, this card arrived just in time to remind you that you're a powerful manifester with the ability to actualize all your goals with ease. To be honest, the only difficult part might be believing it's true. But the sooner you can set your doubts aside, the sooner you can get to spell casting and wish come truing. How would that badass male carrying owl have found you if you weren't an actual wizard? What are you waiting for? Here's the affirmation. I cast aside self-doubt and confidently cast spells for what I want and deserve. 
wand not required, but makes it more fun. And now you're moving on to the tower. That means it's time to get something that begins something new. All right, this is just, I just feel so positive about this reading. All right, that's number 16, Major Arcana number. Make sure you guys look up these angel numbers, one and 16. Like the lightning struck tower in this card, your life is about to undergo a sudden and potentially radical change. But before you rush out and buy lightning insurance, know that this change, however radical it may be, it's actually much needed. It's never pleasant to watch your ivory towers crumble around you. But once they do, you can start living a life that is destined to be richer, fuller, and a lot more radical than ever before. Anyone know of a modest two-bedroom ranch for sale? Here's the affirmation. I accept whatever changes come my way, even the shitty ones. You can't grow roses without some fertilizer. Right, guys? Okay, so now you're moving on to the Four of Pentacles, which is about your coin. Okay, that's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look what you found. A golden arrow pointing to wealth, resources, and the kind of success that would fluster Forbes. But before you go high-fiving yourself, consider a brief word of warning. The fine print of the Four of Pentacles cautions us against ugly sides of wealth. Namely, greed, control, and full-blown, where's my reality show? Shallowness. Material possessions can be a lot of fun, but if they cast too strong of a spell on you, you're at risk of becoming a stingy, miserly Scrooge. See if you can split the difference and value your valuables without installing a laser security system around your wallet. Here's the affirmation. I value my success but treasure what is truly valuable, like things that may things that have no monetary value at all. The universe sure loves irony, right? Because now you come into the three of pinnacles, which is more earth, energy, and honey. Just listen. While you're hard at work on a goal, dream, or shoot for the moon scheme, this car likes to stand on the sidelines and say, keep at it, and you can do it. And come on, ref, are you blind? Wait, wait a minute. Scratch the last one. This spiritual cheerleader is a sure sign of encouragement. Whatever you're working on or wishing for, stick with it. With patience, persistence, and possibly some friends who can be bribed for their assistance, <laughs> you will achieve exactly what you set out to do. Here's the affirmation. I am a go-getting goddess or God, and I won't stop till I get it. Got it? Okay. All right, y'all. Let's just get into this reading. The first card the angels want us to know is what you're wanting to do is perfect, but re reconsider the timing of what you're wanting to do. Okay, right now is the wrong time for that, but still keep your focus. Still continue to work on it because you come to the four swords, which is letting you know that you've got this big thing that you have been dealing with. And guess what? It's over. It's over. So now it's time to take a break. Relax because you've got a big journey coming up ahead. You've got to become the magician, right? And manifest every single thing that you want, okay? Now, what you feel like is what you're meant to do will crumble around you. And you'll feel like, oh my goodness, like what's going on? Why is this happening? Guess what? It's your time. It's your time to build that wealth, use that idea and go for what you want. The universe is telling you what major goal that you have in your mind will get you there. It will get you to the success that you want. You just have to make sure that you don't let that get to your head. Okay, stay humble. All right. So when you blow up and you start making all this money, just make sure you stay humble. All right. And, and bless others. All right, because as long as you show gratitude to the universe, the universe is going to continue to show gratitude to you, continue to fill your pockets and cont continue to keep you in line with your destiny and your purpose and what you're able to do here on earth. Because you are a magician. You're a manifester. You got this. You got this. You are a badass God or a badass goddess. Okay, never forget it. Now, I want you to go out there, take your idea, continue to push continue to strive and continue to thrive because what you want is right around the corner. Just reconsider, even if it's giving up, reconsider giving up because the universe is on your side. All right, y'all. It's on your side. It's just waiting for you. Manifest it. You're more powerful than you know. 
start using that power for good. Stay humble. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming to Lions and Tarot. I love doing these readings because they're talking to me as well. You know, and I just, I, I, I love it. I really love it. And I pray that it's talking to you. And I pray that you receive something from it. And I pray it resonates for you. And I pray that you get to going. Get that badass going. Okay. Get inspired. Hit that bell. Follow me on Lions and Tarot on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you will never miss a video that I upload. Thank you so much for bringing your, me your energy. And just thank you for watching. Have a beautiful and blessed day. And get inspired.